Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. I'm going to give you all a little short view of what we're doing here this morning. We picked our figs, we don't have any more room in the freezer, so what Wanda did was this morning she took and put a pot on the stove and put about a gallon of figs in it and stirred in some honey and let it sit there and stew down for about, I guess, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And then she took it out and put it in the blender and pureed it. And from that point she has moved it over to the dehydrator we took wax paper. I'll let Wanda pan down and let you look at the uh, dehydrator and show you what we're doing. She took and cut wax paper and cut a hole in the middle because the heat comes up through the middle and around the edges. And she took her uh, spatula and she's, she's run this fig puree out on this wax paper. And what I'm doing is coming in behind her here and I'm cutting the wax paper off to allow for some air passage around the outside edges. Now we have it where the heat can come through the middle and can come around these outside edges here. What we've got here is that I'm going to stack these trays up. We've got these others cut. We're going to be making fruit leathers out of these. This kind of stuff makes excellent fig newtons and stuff like that. You can put it in a bug out bag, however you want to use it like that, it's just fantastic. It's easy to do. All you got to have is just a little simple dehydrator. So now we have our fig leathers that have been going for approximately, I'd say we started them at two yesterday and this is eight this morning. These have been going 18 to 20 hours. The edges are a little tough to get off, but once you get it started, it just peels off. And we have beautiful big leathers. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. And it tastes good too. So I have four pans here. I'm going to take these off. I've got I'm going to start another batch and we're going to see if we can't make these for our, uh, use these for our, our fig mutants. Alright, one of the things with this that we found, some of it came off but not much. You can see I got one spot that came off and pulled off really easily. When you start to try, it just peels off. This is wax paper and the wax melted with the fig. It just, for the most part, I'm not going to get anything out of my fruit roll-ups here because the paper, you can see, it just melted into it and there's no getting it off. If you try to pull it off, it just breaks. So wax paper is not the way to go. You will have to use parchment paper. So we're going to do parchment paper instead of wax paper because the wax just melts into your fig. All right everybody this is Danny. I come in the house Wanda's telling me that uh, her her fig stuff got wax paper stuck on the back of it and we, she figured to throw it away. I told her we ain't throwing away our food. They got to be more than one way to skin this cat so I went over here and put it under hot water can't, you can't waste a lot of time on it because if you do, the, the fig stuff will rehydrate. But you see that? You put this stuff under hot water. Take your fingernails, that, that wax will, wax paper will peel right back off of there. So we're going to put it back in the dehydrator without the wax paper on it and see if we can continue to dry it on out since I've had to rehydrate it a little bit to get this wax paper off of here. This is. Uh, we can't afford to lose our food because we made it because something don't work. And that just goes to prove that just because you see something on YouTube don't mean that it's necessarily right. You can see here this putting it under warm water. That wax paper will come back off of it. Today we're going to be making fig roll-ups or fig leathers as some people call them. I took my figs 
and took the ends off the little necks. I have put about a half a cup of water in the bottom of the pot and we're going to put them on the stove. And on about, as you can see, my little burner just barely on, a little above simmer, I'd say. And I'm going to add honey to this. We're going to add about maybe a quarter to a half a cup of honey. It's not going to be too much because this is only about a quart of figs, maybe. And we're going to Simmer these down for 10-15 minutes, mash them up a little, get the goodie going, and then we're going to put them in a food processor. We have our figs here that I've already cooked down. I'm fixing to put them, I'm going to scoop them out, and we're going to add them to the food processor. I don't want too much juice in this because if I add a lot, it just has to dehydrate longer. So I'm taking the figs out and I'm going to add just a little juice to get it going. And if I need more, I can add more, but I don't want too much to start with. I think that should do it. I'm, I'm going to add just a touch of the juice here to start it. And I'm going to strain this and use it for making jelly because we have more fig projects coming up. Now we have our puree. Okay, we have our puree, and you see it's pretty thick, so we did not need any more water in it. And we're going to put this on the trays and dehydrate. While these figs were cooking, I added about two tablespoons of lemon juice to it, just so that it won't turn a dark, dark brown color while it's doing. I think that should keep it a pretty lighter brown color. Okay, so we're adding this one a little bit thicker than the first batch and see how thickness applies when we do this because the first batch was really almost paper thin because I spread it out real thin and we're, but it, it dried within less than 20 hours. So we're going to see with this, this is... Um, we're going to put this in, and it's 9 o'clock in the morning. We're going to see if the thicker stuff does better as a leather or if the thinner. Here's our second batch of fig leathers. These are on the parchment paper. And as you can see, the parchment paper works so much better. The wax paper stuck to my fig leathers. But the parchment paper is peeling off like it should. Of course, we got a couple little spots, but I mean, it peels off. So, the parchment paper works so much better than the wax paper. As you can see, two perfect fruit leathers. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.